What's going on guys? My name is Nick or Olsen Auto and today we are painting my motorcycle yet again. So the color we're going with this time is a nice blue. Um, we're going to start it with the disassembly process. We have to take off the tank, the rear fender, and then get any remaining Plasti Dip. I'll show you guys that in one second. So for those of you wondering, this is a 1983 Honda Shadow VT500. I've had it for well over a year now. It's gone through a couple colors. I painted it for Halloween and I had it blue, kind of purplish before that. So now we're going with like a nice, I don't want to say dark blue, but it's a solid blue color. Yeah, let's get to it. All right, so I got most of the orange paint off. As you can see, there's still a little bit here and there, but uh, I'm actually painting this bike tomorrow because I've worked today. So I just wanted to get a majority of it off all around the edges. So this piece is pretty much ready for paint. I just have to clean it up, but I'll do that tomorrow before I go to paint it. All right, with the tank off the bike, it was a little bit of a battle getting one of the fuel lines off. We now have the tank sitting right there. There's a bunch of plastic dip around the bottom edge and on the bolt area where it bolts down. So it's time to get peeling. All right, so we have our little setup in the shade. I want it out of the sun so it doesn't dry too fast. We had that problem with the orange, I believe, because we tried to do it right in the sun. So as you can see, we're using the same rig as before. This time it's propped up on some wood so I can get under here a bit better. Now I have the alcohol right, right there. Not the fun kind of alcohol, but alcohol nonetheless to wipe down this surface, wipe down this surface. But we are missing masking tape. Now I have a glove with a zip tie around the petcock but we need to take this gas cap off, which is just two Phillips head screws right there. Um, but then I have to mask over the hole. So I'm gonna run to Lowe's, take the Prelude, grab some tape. So we are shopping for a few things today. First, we're hitting Lowe's because I need some masking tape. And then we're gonna fly over to Target and see if we can get some uh, some GoPro accessories so I can actually start recording more moto vlogs and actually have the GoPro on my helmet. Always parked in the back of a lot. You guys know why. All right, so Target had nothing to offer for mount, so I bought one on Amazon, but more importantly, we have the scotch tape, the blue, the scotch blue. So we're gonna go ahead, put it on the tank, and then uh, get painting. do we're gonna take our alcohol and if you guys are ever painting you want to mask off anything you don't want painted we also want to grab some alcohol I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a paper towel try not to spill as much as I did and it's gonna wipe down the surface make sure it's clean let it dry 
should take a couple seconds. The alcohol evaporates very fast. And then we're gonna start painting. So this is the paint we're going with. It is Duplicolor Custom Wrap. Now, unlike the other Duplicolors, this one doesn't require a base coat. Going with a nice glossy blue. You wanna make sure you shake the can really, really well. As you can see, it's meant for motorcycles. That's how you know it's perfect. So once you have your first coat on both of whatever you're painting or the one or whatever you're painting, you're gonna go ahead and let it sit. As the can says, for about 15 minutes in between coats, you're gonna do five or six coats. All right, so with the first coat with the 15 minute interval, as you can see, I went a little bit heavy on it the first time. So for the next five coats, I'm just gonna go real light and try to fix it. I did pretty all right with the fender though. So we're just gonna slowly keep putting on more layers. All right, so we moved operations inside just so there's no more wind because it kept messing with me. Uh, obviously, it's well ventilated. I'm not gonna kill myself in here. So if you're gonna paint inside, make sure you have a big door open. All right, guys, after a very thorough coating, as you can tell, this is extraordinarily blue. Uh, it came out pretty all right. There are a few little hiccups, but you can barely even see them. It's super glossy. I'm hoping it dries like this, but it came out pretty good. Got the rear fender right here. So yeah, this is seven coats total. So just for heads up, every can applies differently, whether it's stellar or if it's a wrap effect or if it's the wrap itself. This was Duplicolor. So now we're just gonna let this dry for about two hours and then we're gonna throw it back on the bike. <laughs> 